How's it going, you guys? What's up? Today, you can see I'm logged into Valorant because I'm doing a Valorant video, of course. But this is not just a Valorant video, all right? This is Valorant, but I'm using a really old Terraria guide. So I'm going to be following this guide in Valorant. And it's like, I'm not sure if it's going to be possible, so I'm going to be testing it out. You know, I think Valorant's a little bit, uh, a little bit different, uh, in terms of gameplay. I think it's going to be completely possible. Um, and so, uh, as you can see, I'm banned for, uh, for another four minutes. So, uh, I'll see you guys when I'm unbanned. Alright, boys. As you can see, we're able to play now. So, uh, um, for the Terraria guide... I think it makes the most sense to use, um, who does it make the most sense to use? Maybe, like, maybe Brimstone. I think Astra could also work. Um, Sage. It's gonna be Sage. When are we playing Sage? Instalock Sage. Icebox. Okay, looks good. So... Uh, of course, we're going Sage. Um, so the first thing that needs to be done is seeking shelter. So that's what we're going to do as soon as the game loads in. In three, two, one. Okay, so here we are, of course. We're going to buy the barrier orb because uh, first things first, we need to uh, seek shelter. So I'm going to look around. There's A. A is shelter. So... Um, Where's some shelter, man? I think, uh, under here is some shelter. So we're going to uh, make some shelter for ourselves. So as soon as the round starts, uh, I'll put this orb up. All right, we got the shelter. Here we go. Now, uh, the next, next part of the tutorial. Here we go. Use your axe to cut down a few trees in the background layer. Okay, it looks like one of our teammates is down. I think this is my perfect time to go get some trees. Okay, I'm not actually sure where any trees are. Oh wait, here's a tree, here's a tree. Boom. Alright, we got that wood. We got that wood. Right. Uh, now we need to find a large level area of ground. Here's here's a large level area of ground. Uh, you should have a pickaxe to flatten some earth. Well, the earth's been flattened, and I'm dead. Okay. Uh, don't worry though, we can respawn just like uh, in Terraria. Um, okay, so we're going to do that again. So, use your workbench to craft a wooden door. That's not a thing. Wooden door is not a thing. So, I think a shorty is the next best option. Okay. Now we're sitting in our house. Okay, wait. This says... Alright. Tutorial says, now craft a wooden sword and a wooden hammer. So, I have my sword here. It's the knife. The reaver knife. And I have the hammer, which is also my reaver knife. Okay, there's the slime, there's the slime. We need to go find that slime. Oh my god. Slime's down. Slime is already low. Slime's low. Slime is... Slime down, slime down. So we've killed some slimes. We need torches. What's a torch in this game? I think a marshal is kind of like a torch. So we need a furnace. Um... Okay, so... So we need a furnace. It says we need 50 torches. So I think that means 50 kills. I have two. Okay, I got another torch. Got another torch. No! I couldn't get that torch! Uh, so we need to dig a hole around 20 blocks deep. So... Let's find a uh, little hole that's 20 blocks deep. That looks 20 blocks deep. I think... Uh, there we go. Well, there's the hole. That's uh, that's a tick off the uh, off the old checklist there. What's the next part? So, I need copper and iron. So copper, obviously referring to the uh, Spike down uh this wall here, it has to be. And then the uh, the iron. That's obviously the sheriff. You know, you know, like the bigger iron. You got the bigger iron on my hip. Obviously, it's just the sheriff. 
Oh, I got killed. Man, I got a slime though. I got a torch. Once I have 20 stone. Um, so stone obviously referring to uh, kills, which I have four of. Anyone feeling generous? Um, I need to craft all my ore into bars. So bars is obviously referring to this wall. Looks like my teammates need a, uh, a greater healing potion. So I'm gonna go and uh, give that to them. Okay, so I did a, a lot of damage on that slime there. I got so, so I have the furnace, which is obviously the wall. Once I have an anvil, which is also the wall. Uh, you need to get some gear, some combat gear. And the best bow you can afford. So unfortunately I'm not playing Sova, so we're gonna have to make do with the uh... What's a bow? Like a frenzy? I think a frenzy is kind of like a bow. It kind of looks like one. I'm gonna use this this house here. Okay, that... Somehow that didn't work. Okay, the bow didn't work. This is a horrible guide. So I need to get some health. So one of my abilities is like eating a mushroom, which gives me a little bit of health. Just like uh, Terraria. Nice. Not the guide. Nice. Good shit. Whoa. <laughs> he said a naughty word. We'll definitely be censoring that one. Good shit. Whoa. W coaching, honestly. We'll definitely be censoring that one. Need some NPCs. So uh, let's get some NPCs going in this next round. I think all of my teammates are NPCs. Okay, so we've already already done the NPCs. Um, we got the houses. It's just this entire map, of course. So. Uh, Yo, Viper, can you buy me? This guy's. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not Viper. going to be listening to this guy Thanks. anymore. That guy over there, he's definitely on mushrooms right now. Oh man, we need some housing. So we need to build a lot more houses for um for all my teammates, which are NPCs. So uh, let's just start next round. Okay, let's purchase a firearm. So we're going to turn this entire area into a house by uh, blocking off this area right here. Uh, now that I've done that, um, so now there is somebody that is coming to kill us. Oh, I'm gonna need to give that guy some mushrooms. All right, got another torch. Got another torch. Got another torch. All right, let's make a house here for the team. All right, we need to give some mushrooms out to the team. Oh, man. So according to the tutorial, now it's time to scour the caves and uh, keep an eye out for golden chests. So uh, we're going to be doing that this round. Well, it looks like all the torches are in A site. I'm on little slimes. Torch. That's another torch. 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 That's another torch. Wappa! Looks like I have 13 torches. I don't care. Looks like they're mid and A. I will be rotating. Uh, it does not look like I've been able to find any chests, so I'm gonna move on to the next part of the tutorial. So I need to be able to get the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, so now uh, that I have to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, I have to get six lenses. So a demon altar is obviously this this wall. And the Eye of Cthulhu is obviously the operator. Here, I'm just gonna wall myself off so I can create this uh, Eye of Cthulhu. One lens is actually a thousand a thousand little monies. All right, we got a torch. So I'm gonna need to save up for this operator because um, looks like I have three lenses because. Uh, one lens is, you know, 1,000 money. So I'm not going to buy anything this round because uh, I'm needing to save up my lenses. I'm going to wait for this guy to die so I can uh, steal his lens. I mean... Yeah. Torch! Alright, looks like we have the six. Lenses now, we buy the Eye of Cthulhu. 
I need this arena, which I think is just a site. I think they've already made the arena for me. So I don't have to do that. But here, I'm going to make this arena by uh, doing this. Oh, here's the arena. No, no, I'm not dying to the Eye of Cthulhu. So I think of the problem there, why I died to the Eye of Cthulhu, is because I didn't have uh, healing potions. I did actually have healing potions. All right, guys. So this is going to round off the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's definitely really awesome and fun to make. Uh, see you guys.